Okay, they say if 2 to the power of x is 3, so they give you a certain property, evaluate 2 to the power of x plus 1. Okay, so we have to figure out what the value of 2 to the power of x plus 1 will be, given that property. I know that 2 to the power of x plus 1 is 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of 1. So as long as the base is the same, I can split up the indices. Because look, when we're multiplying, we add the indices, don't we? So this index will be x plus 1, which is this. So this one, I can break it up. So I can break out the x and end the 1, put it above 2, because 2 is the base. 2 must be the same. So that's how I broke it up using my law of addition. What is this, guys? They give you that 2 to the power of x is 3. So that one must be 3. So 3 times that, 2 to the power of 1, or which is just 2. 2 to the power of 1 is 2. 3 times 2 is just 6. 6 is the answer. This time they give you that 3 to the power of x is 5. So they give you that number. Now I want to evaluate 3 to the power of x plus 2. So guys, think about it. How can we separate this one? Again, we're adding the indices because we must have been multiplying. Now guys, you can see that the given property, 3 to the power of x, is 5. So this one must be 5. 5 times 3 squared is 5 times 9, because 3 squared is 9, and that will be 45. So that's the answer. Again, we've got something given, 2 to the power of x is 5. We're given to evaluate 2 to the power of x plus 3. So how can we split up the indices? Well, that one, because we're adding, I can say it's 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of 3. You know that 2 to the power of x is 5. So simply replace this one with 5. Now what's 2 cubed, guys? 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. So 5 times 8, that's 40. That's the answer. Now this time they give you that x to the power of 2y is 6 and x squared is 3. And they want us to evaluate x to the power of 2y plus 2. Easy, because all we need to do is apply the same method as we did in the previous few questions. You can see that this one, again we're adding, so we can split up the 2y and 2 and put a multiplication sign in between. See how x to the power of 2y is given to us? It's 6. And x squared, it's also given to us, it's 3. So replace them. We've got 6 times 3, which is 18. They give you that 5 to the power of a is 2 and 5 to the power of b is 3. And they want us to evaluate 5 to the power of a plus b plus 1. So I can split up 5 to the power of a plus b plus 1 into something like this. What's 5 to the power of a? 2. 5 to the power of b? 3. Just replace them in. And 5 to the power of 1 is just 5. So what's 2 times 3 times 5, guys? simply 30. So that's the answer to this question. So it's pretty easy, isn't it?